Hi, this is Ali Arango of ArangoDigitalProduction.com and today I want to show you a very easy effect to do uh, which basically auto animates a drawing for you in Blender. Uh, I have a Samsung Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 tablet and there's a program in there called uh, S-Note and what S-Note does is you draw a drawing and it will automate the drawing out for you. Very cool effect. Uh, Cool to watch too. Also on the Nintendo 3DS there's a program called Swap Note and you do a drawing in there and the Nintendo 3DS will automate that drawing. So if you're familiar with those two examples that's a, that's what Blender will do for you here. Uh, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is delete this cube. So hit X to delete the cube. You're then going to hit 7 on your number keypad. Let's go to the top view. Uh, now what you're going to do is hit N to bring up your uh, end menu. And if you look to the left, if you don't see this menu to the left, uh, your tool menu, you hit T and it'll pop up. You'll see a thing that says Grease Pencil. This Grease Pencil is a feature in Blender that allows you to draw like you're drawing in Photoshop or GIMP. And it's actually very amazing because not only can you draw with a mouse, you can draw uh, with a Wicom tablet like I'm about to do. And Blender actually... Rep re Blender actually recognizes the pressure sensitivity of your tablet. Uh, this effect that we're about to do, I originally saw how to do this tutorial by a guy whose name is Great Effect. Uh, I think the original tutorial was called uh, uh, The Da Vinci Blend. Uh, so if you wanted to investigate this further, I, I recommend you go and uh, check out his uh, tutorial. Anyway, uh, the first thing we're going to we're going to do is you can either draw with your mouse, draw, draw with your Wicom tablet, or uh, you know, draw a drawing yourself, or you can bring in another drawing and trace over that drawing to uh, auto animate. And why it hurts me as an artist to trace over something for the purposes of this tutorial to keep me from getting too into the drawing, we're going to bring in uh, a drawing and just uh, trace over to show you how to do this effect. Okay, to bring a drawing in, what you're going to do is still with your end menu open, you're going to select background images. Select this arrow to open up wider. Okay, you're going to click Add Image, and then what you're going to do is go to Open and find your image. This this artist is a drawing of a, a this is a drawing of the black cat by an awesome uh, deviant art uh, artist known as uh, Scorpion Blaze. Love this picture of the black cat. I think it looks absolutely awesome. If you click and see you know bring the drawing in and you don't see it which the reason why you're not seeing is you have to go into orthographic view so you're gonna hit five on your number keypad and then you'll see the drawing if your if your drawing comes in and it's stretched out you can hit fit and it will make the drawing come in the way you want you also when you bring a drawing into blender uh, or illustration you can set the opacity by uh, moving this slider so we'll turn that up make it a little bit easier to see yeah, Scorpion Blaze Judas guy's awesome. Artwork looks awesome. But anyway, what you're gonna do is uh for this, you're gonna select uh use sketching session, then you're gonna select draw. Alright, now what this does is this automatically brings in a new grease pencil layer. When I first was learning this, I was like, what the heck is going on? Blender is a 3D program, but yeah, Blender is a 3D program. Uh it can do all kinds of crazy things, but anyway, when you when you click that, a new layer is going to be made. Now, to come out of this drawing mode, even though we didn't start drawing yet, you're going to hit Enter, just so I can show you this. With that end menu still open, if you look up to the top, you'll see this right here. And this is your grease pencil settings. So this right here actually increases the thickness of your lines. I'm going to take this up to 5. Uh, there's a thing here for onion skinning. I mean, I'll tell you what, Blender is just amazing the, the program that keeps on giving you can do frame by frame animations and you can do this auto animation tutorial here that i'm going to show you i mean blender is just program's amazing but i guess you already know that if you're here watching if you're new to blender uh oh yeah by the way if you are new to it, blender brand new i recommend you go to file user preferences input and then select with left which is how i use it if you're coming from like an Adobe uh, background or just Windows. Blender by default you select with right click. Uh, if you want to make it like your other typical programs just go to you know do what I just showed you and that should help you out. Anyway back to this. Uh, what you're going to do is you are going to go to draw. And again I'm using a Wicom tablet but you know a mouse will work fine. Basically what I'm going to do here is just quickly 
the purposes of this tutorial was just draw over this uh, drawing and uh, this technique that I learned from a uh, great effect and that you're learning through me here now uh, you can do I mean this, this so many things can be done with this t technique as far as a uh, explainer videos and you know just if you need a very quick effect you could be making a music video or you know, some project I mean this thing is a very cool very easy effect to do as you'll see and uh, if you don't know about it I'm glad to be here showing you it because uh, it's I think very awesome I uh, spent a lot of time in 3D programs I mean the main 3D program that was a uh, Blender, but I spent some time in uh, you know, Cinema 4D and some time in Maya, some time in Max also. Uh, hard to talk and draw at the same time, but uh, most of the time I spend a lot of time in uh, After Effects. And uh, typically a lot of the, the things that I've been learning recently in Blender I thought were really only possible to do in uh, After Effects and After Effects is an awesome program uh, fun program a lot of cool stuff to do with still it, uh, it amazes me that uh, so much can be done in Blender that before the, the automatically I would have thought you know After Effects and After Effects is awesome it's great but After Effects used to be a thousand dollars for the program I believe now After Effects is sixty dollars a month for it so uh, that's very cool. I mean, even if you have After Effects and you, you made your way to this tutorial, uh, you know, After Effects, I believe the only Adobe will only let you put it on two computers. I mean, here with Blender, you can put this thing across as many computers as you want, totally legal with, you know, the full, you know, people, the people who make Blender actually being happy that you're spreading it around. So uh, you know, even for you, uh, you know, if somebody's using After Effects, I would say it's still advantageous to know, uh, you know, the fact that Blender can do this kind of stuff. So let me speed this up. I had done a tutorial not too long ago how to how to do an After Effects uh, write-on effect in Blender instead of uh, After Effects. And uh, that technique gave you more control, but it's also a lot more complicated than this. Uh, so this kind of does like the, the, the similar effect to what that tutorial does except this one uh, you know just does it a lot easier and obviously the more time you spend in the more time you spend in here you know when you're drawing that you know obviously the, the better results you'll you'll get them I'm trying to go pretty quickly because uh you know for the sake of time for this tutorial Yeah, Blender, I tell you what, the program uh just continues to amaze. Uh there's a guy named uh, Craig Jones who has a YouTube channel and basically he's got a kind of a philosophy. He's trying to do as many things as possible uh inside of Blender. And he has a uh he's got a video where he's doing a, a drawing of a robot in Blender and it's uh it's amazing. I mean he, I like that his uh you know philosophy of, of trying to do as much as possible in Blender and it's also amazing just the fact that Blender actually would you know give them the ability to do that uh, anyway once you have your drawing basically done uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit enter to come out of that drawing mode and then this is the important part here what you're gonna do is hit uh, convert to path All right once you're once you have your draw and convert it to a path what you're going to do is uh, we're going to click the world settings and you're going to go to uh, your uh, rising color select here and turn this all the way up to, to white and basically if you go to render this and you 
just click render right here, you'll see that. Actually, I don't have the do I have the camera set. I don't have the camera set up. Uh, from this viewpoint, that we're in, hit Control Alt Number Pad Zero. That will bring your camera in. You can then click Lock Window. I'm sorry, Lock Camera to View right here. And actually, we'll uh, unclick it so we can zoom in. And then, so you're not. We'll take off that background image just by clicking this X right here. All right, but if you go to render right now, you won't see anything. And the reason for that is, is what you want to do is select your newly converted, you know, curves. Hit the tab key to go into edit mode. Then what you're going to do is go to your curve menu and you're going to go to your bevel. Let's try this at a point two. We'll hit render, and now you can see the the drawing popping up there. And what we'll do to this drawing to refine a little bit more is a uh, hit A to select all. Then you're going to hit W to bring up your specials menu, and then hit smooth about four or five times. Okay, now you'll see what, when you go to render. A little bit, a little bit better looking there. All right, now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your uh, materials window. You're going to select new, new material. Go to diffuse, and we're in the blender uh, render here. You're going to select diffuse and bring this color down all the way down to the darkest black or near the bottom. You're then going to go to your specular right here. Turn down the intensity. And now when we hit render again. Looks a little bit better. To get this drawing to auto animate, and again, just to be said, if you spend more time, that obviously would look better, better result. Uh, now, what you're going to do is you're going to hit a uh, tab. Actually, hit A. So, whoops. Select here. We'll hit A to select everything. Hit tab to come into object mode. Now, what you're going to do is go to your uh, modifier panel. Select add modifier. Go to your build menu. And that is pretty much, you know, the drawing on that time I took was was just putting the drawing in. The effect, the auto animate effect. Guess what? It's already done. The drawing, the animated animation starts at one, and right here it's set to 100. And you can play with the length of it here by changing this length. For now, we're just going to keep it at this length. And you'll see if you look at this, if you look at this drawing here, as I pull the timeline just by right clicking and moving, you can see the drawing drawing itself in very very cool so basically just that quick adding that that build modifier auto animates it to render this out so you can see it if you're new to blender what you would do is you would uh go to this little camera hit symbol here your render button we'll turn this down to uh hd tv 720 uh, we'll leave it at 24 frames a second uh, then what you would do is uh, you're going to go down here where you see PNG. Since it's, if you're doing long animations, you want to render out it as PNGs for something short like this. You know, change it to a, a movie is fine. My recommendation: turn to H.264. Go to your encoding. Turn it to MPEG4. And then what you're going to do this right here is going to be the folder you're actually going to render into. So you just select uh, where you want this to go, create a folder for it, you know exactly where it's going. Except then you're ready to go, now you're just going to come up and select animate. Okay, I just tried to uh, animate it out as a movie, and actually, for some reason, I'm in Blender 2.69. It was giving me a problem. So, if you're having a problem with it, what you can do is, instead of having it uh, render out a 2.64 movie, MPEG-4, turn it back to PNG, and uh, just 
just make a PNG folder so it can go into and then accept that. And then you're just going to do the same thing, animate, if you do that uh, and you have those PNG files. What you want to do to bring them in to uh, put it into a movie if you're new to Blender. Or you're going to go, go to, to File, New, just go into a whole new version of Blender uh, by reloading it. Select right here, go to Video Editor. Once you're in the Video Editor, you can click Add Images. Look for your uh, PNGs where you, uh, after you animated it out, obviously I've you know, done this uh, previously, that's why they're here now. Select all of these PNGs and then add the image strip. Now you should see your uh, animation animating itself out. If you want to turn this into a movie, what you can do is look for the, uh, the end frame. So this is 104. Select here. Hit Control C. Come to your end frame. Hit Control V to paste that end frame in. Then what you would do is come out, come back to uh, the default view. I'm going to turn this to 720. Now I'm going to go back again and turn this to uh, H2.64. Go back to encoding and change this from AVI back to uh, MPEG-4. Make sure I know where it's going. So I'm going to pick a folder for it. And then click animation to go ahead and render that out. Okay, there it goes. Okay, and once you have that rendered out, okay, and there you go. A very easy way to auto animate a drawing inside of Blender. Uh, thank you guys for viewing and supporting this channel. And if you like this uh, video and you want to see more, please subscribe and thank you for viewing.